So it's not an accident that the emergence of a man and a woman, or let's say even if it's the same sex, but for now I'm not using uh, same sex, I'm just saying the opposite sex, and this is just for uh, um, simply explanation. So uh, let's not get into that. Uh, that doesn't mean same Two people from the same sex, they can have tantric experiences as well. But I'm just saying man and woman for this, the, um, simply for simplicity of the discussion. So this tantra sexuality is very, very dangerous to the establishment because if it's taught correctly, and we're educating our children, which they need to know about sexuality. And in the new world, in the new, in the higher level of consciousness, as we enter into fifth dimension, and we are becoming self-awakened and learning, finding out about our true purpose on this planet in recognizing true love and recognizing a higher level of consciousness is that we are going to have to restructure the way our society is and sex education becomes extremely important and it needs to come to light because it's in darkness and it's been in darkness for thousands of years because it is danger, it's a danger to the establishment. It's a danger to the religion. It's a danger to the governments. It's a danger to all the systems that are controlling us and is keeping us into separation. Because just Tantra by itself can lead you into self-realization if it's done correctly. And, of course, the system doesn't want you to become self-realized, doesn't want you to open up your third eye, and doesn't want you to be able to find any kind of ways that opens up all your chakras and allows you to reach and open up your crown chakra to have cosmic consciousness and have access to wisdom and realize that you are really God and you've never been separated from God. So sexuality is a way of helping you realizing that you are one. And that's very dangerous because ironically it happens to be for majority of people on the planet their favorite sport because if you're not sexually damaged in childhood and you haven't been traumatized then it's something you think about all the time and you desire all the time so what the system does the establishment establishment has created is that they realize this is very dangerous in order for the human being as a race to free itself and realize its divine oneness. So since it's very dangerous to the establishment, what they did is they created a lot of shame and guilt. So from very early childhood, what happens is your family, your parents, uh, your society, the school, the religious uh, um, authorities, they begin to brainwash you that sex is bad and it's shameful and it's dark and there's a lot of fear and uh, guilt attached to it. So you're being discouraged from discovering your own sexuality. 
you're being discouraged of having orgasms, uh, whether you're having it with a partner or you're doing it through masturbation. And so these are all like red lights. So the moment you talk about it, uh, people get uncomfortable and they automatically, unconsciously, they're attaching anything re regarding sexuality to shame and fear and guilt. This is what happens. I remember when I was a kid, uh, there was this thing that uh, about not doing, not masturbating, because if you masturbate, uh, there was this false belief that you would get blind. If you do a lot of masturbation as a teenager, then you're going to get blind. So, or you're going to be punished by God, or you're going to go to hell. So there was a lot of guilt and shame around it. So let's look at this objectively. Something that is in order to reproduce for a human race. So if we want to have children, we're going to have to have sex with our opposites. So how could this be shameful and fearful and a bad thing to do that in order to reproduce human beings on this planet, you have to have sex? And all mammals do that. So how could that be a shameful thing? What kind of stupidity is there? How stupid anyone can be to believe and not look at this unless we're really brainwashed and we've been really screwed up in our heads from childhood by shame and guilt and fear to second doubt your very, very primal in it desire of having sex.